the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in the booth by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, but before we turn to them, let's check out the starters for this year's American and National League All-Star teams. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Jacob DeGrom a right hander from Florida gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher this is your kind of guy career ERA under three just knows how to get it done controls the running game limits the amount of damage and more importantly he knows how to win and that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Stepping up is Marcus Semien and we are set for baseball here this evening. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. First pitch, seven o'clock. The wind up and the 0 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castellanos moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for rat number one. All right, so here's how the National League All Stars line up on D. And behind the plate, world champion, former MVP, former rookie of the year, he's done it all. Buster Posey. Buster is in full command of this pitching staff. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's one for five. One out, nobody on. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. The 1 1 home. Now, oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Going back is the left fielder to the track, to the wall. And that one is gone. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. As the AL strikes first, it's 1 to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that they take the lead. Standing in now Vladimir Guerrero Junior. As he'll take a look at ball one. Bases are empty one man out. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. 
Hey, d -Row, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I'm, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay with you giving a little bit on the corners, but you start giving north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. Now the 2-1 pitch. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in will be Shohei Otani. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. I uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. The 1-1. One, one. It's a fastball that misses. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Looking up Acuna. And it's gone! Two-run home run off the bat of Shohei Otani as the AL goes out to a 3-0 lead. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. At the plate, Cedric Mullins. He pulls this one into right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball well outside. The 1 1 home he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And it's fouled away. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard on now to the bottom of inning number one. The AL leads it three to nothing. Carlos Radon, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, thanks, Matt. Carlos Rodon, the pride and joy of NC State University. 
overpowering fastball at times, 94 to 96 miles an hour with some cutting action. His best secondary pitch is the hard slider and does have a changeup that's on the improve. If he brings all three of these, he has a chance to shut anybody down. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1 0 home. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Nicholas Castellanos will be next. The three one. Taken high and deep to right. Going back is the right fielder still going back and this one is gone a home run. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first and the National League strikes for a run to make it a three to one ball game. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this with pop at the plate can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Nick Castellanos at the plate now as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. Previously against Carlos Radon, batting 500, 5 for 10. He's taken him deep once. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Radon is a guy that's able to keep the bat off the ball. That's kind of the name of the game for a pitcher, and as a starter, it really helps him work deep into games. Matty V, one of the toughest parts about scoring runs is bunching three or four hits. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. A solo shot off the bat of Nick Castellanos. And the National League has made it a 3 to 2 score now. Walking around the cage during BP, they talked about wanting to be aggressive early in this one, and they've done exactly that. Second home run already in the first inning. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. But that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. I uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone! <laughs> the 
So a solo shot here to left center field and with it the NL has come back to tie it at three. the first baseman Freddie Freeman as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Three runs already home here. Ground ball right side taken in by Simeon and the throw to first is in time one gun. No way. Aranado. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And guys, let's take a look at Raphael Devers. He got rushed to the big league super quick because the guy could flat rake. Defense has lagged a little bit behind. Had some throwing issues early, but working on his craft and continuing to get better every year. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. The 1-0 is low and outside for a ball. Previously against Carlos Radon, he's one for three. Still only one out in the inning. Bounce towards the second baseman. Simeon bare hands it. He is out. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Here now is Juan Soto, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1 0. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 1 0. And he pumps the fastball by him here. 1 and 2 now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Swung on by Soto and he connects to deep right. Judge looks up and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot down the line in right as they take the lead four to three. This is exactly what you want your offense to do to get your fans involved. Bottom of the first inning. Let's get it started early with a homer. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having to use out of your bullpen just to get through this thing. Not a good spot to be in. 0 oh 2, the counts of Posey. Now the 0 2 pitch, and he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So something you don't see very often four runs on four hits with all of them coming as solo home runs. We move ahead to the top of the second now National Leaguers out in front four to three. 
leading off the inning, it'll be Teoscar Hernandez. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. First offering on its way. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. One pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Center fielder going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Dan Plesak, somebody, please stop the bleeding. This pitching staff on both sides are getting absolutely embarrassed. This is one of those days, d row when you're sitting watching this game as a bullpen. You see this starting to unfold on both sides of the plate. This is one as a bullpen guy you're sitting out there going, oh, Mr. Wizard, I don't want to be a pitcher today. One out, nobody on. Fastball and that thing's a blur up there folks one and one. Oh they have him looking awfully confused up there right now it's one and two. Misses ball two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next to Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's another ball well hit. This one to left field. The onslaught will continue as this is going to be another home run. It's a solo shot for Marcus Simeon as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Matty V, I don't know what this is. d -Row, is this bad pitching or good hitting? I think you have to credit both offenses today. They both came in with game plans. We walked around during batting practice. They were both super confident, and nobody is missing a barrel. Here's big Aaron Judge. 
as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike he launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On now to the bottom of the second, the American Leaguers on top, 5 to 4. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jesse Winker. First pitch of the AB now. The 0 1 pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And that misses. Two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good. And that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the 2 1 pick. That's ball three been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter if he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning the three one and he takes ball four leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second well there's only a one run cushion to play with so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here go ahead run comes to the plate and there are no outs this could be a very interesting inning Stepping in next, Adam Frazier. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. And it's going to be in time as Perez fired a strike to get him that time. Very well could have been a hit run attempt there. But you kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. Bases are empty, one man out. Weekly hit towards first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The center field. Ronald Acuna Jr. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. Nope. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 0. Oh. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Here it comes, 2 0. Oh. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Nick Castellanos now, man at first after the two out walk. From the stretch. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in safely. Hey. 
And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Hey, let's not sugarcoat it. He's had a rough couple innings. He's going to have to find a way, whether it be mechanically or mentally, to be able to stay in this game. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it 1 and 2. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here comes the 1 2. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Next up, the two-way Japanese import Shohei Otani as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 1-0. Oh. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. One out, nobody on. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Shohei Otani is out number two here in the third inning. In now, Cedric Mullins. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Here now is Rafael Devers as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 0 1 offering. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
at nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. And here he is in the third inning. Trouble again. He's just not able to find that comfort zone out there. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning Two out double left stranded more baseball on MLB Network right after this. Back now with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Nicolas Castellanos to start out the inning. First offering. A bouncer to the left side. And there's one down now. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And he blasted a homer in his first at bat. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. Fouled away. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. The 0 2 pitch. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball two. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. The 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Fouled off. Two two one more time. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher, but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. One out, runner at first, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back safely. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Tatis stands at first with one out. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pitch for strike number two. Use the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. This is to right field and deep for Freeman. Judge looks up. Gone! 
A two-run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman. And this one gives him the lead at 6-5. to five. Wow, nine home runs. D. Rodan, when's the last time you saw a power performance like this from two competing teams? Matty V, I can't ever recall nine home runs in the game, D. Rodan. This has been a case of bad pitching, good hitting, and guys getting pitches to hit and not miss them. Yeah, Dan, we got a love on both offenses right now. I don't think if you paid the price of admission for a ticket in the last decade, you're seeing a combined nine home runs hit. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Popped up. Guerrero is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Now the designated hitter. Long. Soto. Now to the plate, here is Juan Soto. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. So a runner at first with two away, and that brings up Buster Posey. set here it comes especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate that's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone oh hi deep that is a moonshot folks a long home run Two run shot for Buster Posey as they open up an 8 5 lead. This has been a staggering display of power hitting here today, guys. I can't remember the last time I saw a performance like this. Ten combined home runs. Matty V, this is a sport. Ten bombs in one game, Hero. Are you kidding? It's so hard to hit a baseball, Dan. Probably the hardest thing to do in all of sport. And for these teams to combine for ten home runs between the two of them is, is really historic. Chris Bassett, a 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer. Good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. So here's Adam Frazier as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 
Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the plate, however, five of them score. Three innings complete. It's the National League nine and the American League five. Now it'll be Teoscar Hernandez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ball one to start the at bat. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has no been pattern. full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. From the belt kicks and deals. High and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder to the track. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two run blast to straight away right field. His second home run of the game as this lead has been sliced down to two. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart here tonight, and these fans will not be terribly appreciative, I don't imagine, as he was pretty much dreadful in this one. Brandon Woodruff, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh and 1 here it comes. And it's fouled away.
Here's the 0 and 2. Uh, got him on the good slider there swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So next to hit is Marcus Semien. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball. Oh oh center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Seven runs an equal number of hits no errors thus far for the American League tries the slider to ring him up but he lays off one and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away and when that slider came out boy did it look like a heater for a long time fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well as a leadoff man the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route at, at least for him but hey they'll take it. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. to the bag and the runner back. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fastball over the outside but in there for a strike. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. The 0-1. Hey guys that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed it's almost like getting stung by it. Meanwhile here the throw down to second is not in time and it's a stolen base. So here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The runner from second crosses the plate. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Shohei Otani digging in next as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little it's 0 and 1 he's working on a one for two game so far. Oh and look out as this runs in and gets him the second man he's plunked in this one. Yeah I can hear the crowd murmuring now wondering if he hit him on purpose but hey us pitchers need to be able to throw inside especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him and hey that's part of the game. Now at the plate here is Cedric Mullins. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and force the issue of this inning Matt a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Ready to deal here comes the first pitch as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and all. One and oh here it is. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Hey love the confidence in that pitch right there going right after one of the better hitters on this team not afraid to execute. And he'll lay off the fastball down low it's two and one now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. 
Both teams with eight hits in this one. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Here's the two and two. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and a couple of men left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The NL leads this one 9-8. So stepping in is Nicholas Castellanos. Lifetime versus this arm. He's had success six for 14. He also has one home run. First pitch on its way. Bit of an ill-advised swing that time as that ball got in on him. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. No ball, two strikes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Next up, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's shortstop. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One out, nobody on. And he lays oh, off for right. ball one. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there, made a nice two strike adjustment. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Pitch out, nothing doing. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. Tatis, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Throw over to first and late reactions and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem so that wasn't very smart baseball. Now the 2-1. Taken strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. NL goes down quietly. They lead it 9 8. So, 
So now into the box is Rafael Devers. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders breaking balls and change ups but to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitters not seeing it well at all. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today Dan that was his third tonight and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah Matt there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out a strikeout is just as good as a regular out but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez Acuna giving chase but he can't get there it's over his head. Around second now and headed for third. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up to it. Next thing you know, it one hops the wall, and he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. to the plate now Xander Bogarts as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 and his confidence has to be in a really good place right now having already launched two balls over the fence in this one and he fouls this one off. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old 2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. The 1 2. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. And not in time as the run scores. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Next to hit, Salvador Perez. First pitch on the way. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled away. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. If you're at the plate right now you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Popped him up. Arenado shading to his right. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So one run here on one hit one error and no one left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up and we are tied nine nine. 
Now at the plate, Nolan Arenado popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Now here's the first offering. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The 1-0. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. And this one's off the fists as he fights this one off but foul. Again, a one-two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Here now, the two-two. This will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. We've got ourselves an awesome battle going on right here. Bottom line, the guy who's going to win this situation is the guy who executes. Heading after it is Judge. Oh, and that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Juan Soto to the plate now. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. From the belt, the pitch. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Arenado aboard here at first with nobody out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the 2-1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Nobody out, runner on first. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. A former MVP waiting on deck in the form of Buster Posey. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking. Strike three. Here's Buster Posey now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The runner from first crosses the plate. With that base hit right there, D. Rowe, that's his third RBI of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly almost given his team a chance to win this one.
At the plate now, Jesse Winker, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for round number two. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that textbook sinker. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. And a ball 1-0. and oh. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Two out here and a runner at second. Two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Left side, but well foul. Two two pitches fouled away. Two and two. Here it is. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Payoff pitch on its way. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first base open, but he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Up next, Ronald Acuna. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Ready with the one one. Nope. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Bounce towards the mound. On to first and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We're through five innings here tonight, and the back and forth continues. It's 10 to 9 now. Marcus Semyon will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. High in the air down the right field line. 
Castellanos is there to put it away for route number one. Up next for the American League, the right field, Aaron. Next to stand in is Aaron Judge. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now here's the pitch. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now that's the first baseman. Next to dig in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. American League goes down in order. Lead won't change hands. It's still 10 to 9. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. Now here's the first offering. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now the pitch. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Fernando Tatis Jr. will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. And the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. One out, nobody on. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Fouled off.
swing and a little blooper to center. Bogarts ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now bat, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And now, Freddie Freeman has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 and 1 delivery. Two out, nobody on. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Into the corner and slicing foul. Oh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. Popped him up. Devers over to his right. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Nothing doing here this half. We're through six full. The NL's on top, 10 to 9. Max Scherzer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the DH, Shohei Otani. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens, I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate it's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams bullpens. and he looks at a slider in there one and one a ball and two strikes now this pitcher is bringing it with some high velo you better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you and he lays off the fastball away so it's two and two now. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Into the box now, Cedric Mullins. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here now the 2 2. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. 
And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Rafael Devers. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 delivery. That's by him for strike one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath. Take a step out of the box. And know you got a few to play with. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here's the pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. One, two, three go to the American League. Lead won't change hands. It's still 10 to 9. Lance Lynn gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Here's Nolan Arenado. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Say you make the trap jump, that's what's up, bro. If you really with the city, say what up, though. I've been slacking the motivation, and it's not doing First delivery to him. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One ball, one strike. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. A ball and two strikes. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 1 2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. He'll throw down to first, one away. Now into the box, one Soto. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. High bouncer toward the hole. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting, catcher, Buster. Posey. So now to the plate, Buster Posey. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. NL down in order. 
as they cling to a 10-9 advantage. Zach Wheeler has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Michael Brantley will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1 and 2. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it. 2 and 2. Grounded back up the middle. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eighth. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'll be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Xander Bogarts stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Here it is, the 3-0 is swung on and missed strike one stealing that strike on 3 0 was important but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here fastball right back to the mound and he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning the and up steps Salvador Perez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And now the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Here comes Wheeler's 0 2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. AL down quietly. Lead won't change hands, it's still 10 to 9. Mike Trout will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. 
Matt Barnes is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. And stepping in, Jesse Winker, a hit in two tries for him so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one run game that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. In now Adam Frazier as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's one for two in this one. The one and oh delivery and wow a very high strike but a strike nonetheless and it's one and one action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And it's 1 and 2. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Trout comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Number 13. Acuna Junior. Acuna digs in now. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First pitch of the AB now. As he'll take a look at ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1 and 1. Hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Nicholas Castellanos would be next. Three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sent on the ground out to second. Simeon's got it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played eight full. National Leaguers out in front, 10 to 9. Mark Melanson comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Marcus Simeon. 
Yeah it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game especially in the ninth inning but having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. And this winds up inside for a ball 2 and 0 now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3 and 0 now. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Striding in is Aaron Judge. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Set and the pitch in there at the letters 0 and 1. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. The 0 and 1 delivery pitch is high the throw not in time he's in there at second. One one and he fouls this one off. Here comes the one two fouled away. Another one two delivery. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. The 2 2 gets the outside corner strike three. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hard hit ball towards the hole, and that's through into left to base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Adolis Garcia will come on now and pinch run here. Number 53. So now to the plate Shohei Otani as he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1. From the belt kicks and deals. Mark Melanz is used to making good pitches when it counts at crunch time. He's in a tough spot right here. I wouldn't bet against Mark Melanson. Look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here.
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Next, it'll be Cedric Mullins trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. In there, and it's even at one. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Fouled off. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes, and it's fouled away. Popped him up. Frazier is calling for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, that's one of the best finishes we've been part of in a while. Two outs, tying run at third, the go-ahead run at first, but they can't find a way to get him home. Tough way to lose, but a great way to win a game. And it's a 10-9 final at the end of this one. The National League All-Stars launched six home runs as a team in the ball game. Brandon Woodruff takes home the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. National League All-Star, 10 runs on 10 hits, one error, they left four men on base. For the visitors, nine runs, 11 hits, no error, they left five men on base. That's the ball game, four hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.